Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, got bored and ended up setting up some Antminer S3s. These guys are pretty sweet. They hash at about 450, uh, easily overclocked to 500 giga hashes a second. So we got about one terahertz here, um, about 344 watts each of power. So I just have them plugged in to an old school HP uh, power supply configured with a breakout board. So this can just run off your typical 120. It's uh, just plugged into a 15 amp outlet and it's been powering these guys uh, all night. These guys, as you notice, do not have ethernet cables. They actually have a little Wi-Fi antenna that's held there with lots of tape. As you can see over here, I got one of them ripped apart. And here, let me grab this. As you can see, I'm gonna try to zoom in without the camera going. This little guy right here actually plugs into the end of this connector cable and you just throw this little dog leg on, hook it to a Wi-Fi antenna, and then you got wireless on these bad boys. So that's kind of what drew me to this is I could hook them up wirelessly. Um, they're probably not going to stay in my kitchen even though they're extremely quiet and honestly they hardly emit any heat. So uh, for one terahash, that's pretty good. I'm kind of working with a consortium of other miners uh, working on solo blocks. So you can see my old project is uh, still chilling. It's a Raspberry Pi imaged with Minera, M-I-N-E-R-A. It's uh, the best mining controller that you can get out there for Linux systems or ARM systems like the Pi. And these gecko sticks are pretty sweet. I've had them overclocked at 30 giga hashes a second, but they suck a lot of power and they have tons of hardware errors when you get them that high. And these things cost about 75 bucks each. So that's a little much um, if I were to go buy a new one. On the other hand, you can get these guys over here for about $50, $10 shipping. The power supply was 20 bucks. Yeah, throw on the cords and the breakout board and you're looking at about a hundred and ten dollar setup here and it's a uh, one tera hash so definitely something to look into uh shoot me some questions check out the site man other than that uh maybe join the consortium and do some solo block mining take it easy guys